Hello everybody and welcome to this example. In this example I'm going to demonstrate how to make three different water filters. The first is very simple, it's just an application of the effect of the filter overlays shaken liquid. The second one is a modified version of the filter 3D wood. And the final one, we are going to build a filter from scratch to create a water texture like this. So let's get started. First of all, I'm just going to use a simple filter. I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to color it navy blue. And then I'm going to apply the filter overlays, shaken liquid. And voila, here we have a very nice texture, a very nice water texture, which is very easy to create. Next, we are going to draw another kind of water texture using the 3D wood filter and modify. And then we are going to modify it. So I'm going to start by drawing another rectangle and I'm going to filters, materials, 3D wood and then I'm going to go to filters, filter editor and let's modify this filter. First of all I'm going to increase the size. First of all I would like to simplify it so I'm going to remove this Gaussian blur. This Gaussian blur is used to give a beveled effect and we don't need that beveled effect, so I'm going to remove it. I'm also going to remove this Gaussian blur, the specular lighting, these composites, and this blend. And next, let's change some of the parameters. Here we have the turbulence, and here we can uh, influence the frequency of the waves on the water. Next I would like to modify the displacement map. I would like to amplify the displacement to 80 or so. And then I have this flood color and I'm going to change the flood color from yellow to white. Another possibility might be light blue, but for now I'm going to leave it on white. Then we have also the convolve matrix. At the moment the convolve matrix is a matrix like this, which is a kind of edge detection, a kind of sharpening of the image. I'm going to amplify that by increasing the value of this to 5 and increasing the value of decreasing the value of this to negative 5. And here we have an alternative water effect. Next we are going to create our very own water filter which is excellent practice when it comes to learning how filters work. First I'm going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to color it navy blue and I'm going to add a new filter and I'm going to name it water. Let's add the effect turbulence and click on add effect. I'm going to give a turbulence of 0 0,06 in both the x and the y direction and let's apply this filter and see how it looks. Next I would like to take the opaque parts and amplify the opaque parts and the transparent parts I want to decrease the amount of transparency. So for that I'm going to use a color matrix. I'm going to leave the red, green and blue values constant, but the opacity I'm going to multiply it by 2. So as you can see the P 
picture has become a bit more opaque. Next, I'm going to use composite effect. And I'm going to use the color matrix as the output from the color matrix as the second input and the original source graphic as the first input. And now when I use in, I see that the transparent parts from the color matrix remain transparent and the opaque parts become the original blue from the original graphic. Next, I'm going to add a flood effect and the flood effect, I'm going to make it light blue. I'm going to apply a composite again to combine the flood effect as the second input and the result of the last image as the first input. I want an arithmetic effect and uh, I'm going to amplify the parts where both both the images are not transparent and I'm also going to amplify the first image the first input and I'm also going to amplify the second and I'm going to decrease I'm going to remove a constant value off of the resulting image something like that next I would like to add a displacement effect and I'm going to set the displacement effect to 24, 25 to have some interesting ripples on my water. As displacement map, I would like the original turbulence. But I could also use the output of the composite to be the displacement map too. Have uh, experimented with it and pick the one which you like best. For me, I'm going to use the output of the turbulence as the origin as the displacement map. Next, I would see I notice that the uh, filter the displacement map has moved my square to the right and down so I'm going to correct that using an offset and I'm going to move the texture back to the middle and finally I'm going to add another composite in order to cut off the edges using the in function and there we have a our homemade water filter thanks for watching see you in the next episode see you in the next example bye bye